All right, Nerdlust Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Wednesday. It's 4.59. It's uh, February 27, 2019. All right, Cohen, the lawyer, admits he has no evidence. No evidence, no evidence, no evidence. Trump colluded with the Russians. Oh. But he says, but I have my suspicions. WashingtonTimes.com. Uh, fresh off the newsstands, uh, President Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, said today that he has no evidence suggesting his former boss colluded with Russia during the 2016 presidential election. <laughs> but he has his suspicions. <laughs> when can you ever find a, uh, a good lawyer, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, Trump's innocent. Trump compared to all the other past presidents, you got to go back 150 years to find a half-decent president. Yeah. I mean, look at JFK. JFK uh, wanted to be patriotic to this country. They killed him for, for trying to be patriotic. But JFK was screwing around with, with Marilyn Monroe. His brother and him were having an affair at the same time with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and who, know, who knows who, who else? Yeah. And that's, that's the tame side of it. I mean, you go into Barack Obama. You go into Bill Clinton. The Bush secret societies. Trump compared to the past presidents is an angel. Seriously. But I love this headline news because this should just lay everything to rest. Cohen admits today he has no evidence Trump colluded with the Russians. All right. If Listen, if they had information and dirt against Trump, it would have come out before the, the election in 2016. It would have been coming out every day. The fact of the matter is... They don't have the dirt they want, and they're trying to cause some kind of dirt to come up from somewhere in the past, right? But, you know, everybody has dirty laundry. I'm not saying that Trump didn't have dirty laundry. I'm saying Trump's not part of the secret societies. Trump, yes, has dirty laundry, but him compared to all the other politicians is an angel. <laughs> and I'm glad that the Washington Times and the news is coming out, even a lawyer has to admit that they have no ev evidence that Trump screwed around with the Russians. Now, hey, I am a, uh, I'm not an enemy of the Russians. <clears throat> I think Russia has a great president, and Russia is no longer communist. And by the way, uh, Putin's a great leader for his country and would be a great leader and a help for other countries around the world. Putin's actually fighting ISIS for real in the Middle East and around the world. Yeah, hello. I mean, look at uh, Trump, Trump today. Trump is in Vietnam. It's a communist country ha having a peace summit. <laughs> All right. Can anything good come out of Vietnam? Can any good thing come out of Russia? Of course it can. All right. Yeah. I said that I just finished a live show on uh, Facebook. And I said, listen, uh, the U.S. Congress, 99% of them are more communistic than Vietnam. 99% of the U.S. politicians and, and uh, the U.S. government, 99% of them are more communistic than China. <laughs> Don't talk about Trump. You want to pull up some dirt on uh, billions and billions of uh, situations, circumstances, and depopulation and uh, attacking their own people? Pull up the past U.S. presidents. Yeah, pull up the U.S. past presidents. Yeah. But I love this. I think this is victory. I, but I, also, I think it's also a distraction. I think this whole uh, Michael Cohen testimony today is, is, is in part trying to uh, pull away from the great job Trump is doing in Vietnam with a peace deal with North Korea. Everybody should be talking about it. Nobody really should be talking about Cohen. The fact is that they had to bring up this uh, information because Trump is not guilty of uh, any kind of foreign government uh, 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 golly, uh, lollygagging <laughs> in the last election. You know, the CIA, which runs the multimedia, the media, basically, the, the press, the mainstream media in the U.S. and a lot of countries around the world, <clears throat> they don't like Russia's uh, media because Russia's uh, news organizations and other foreign organizations that aren't run by the CIA, which is run by the Vatican, they don't like their news to be different from the mainstream media of the U.S. So they really call that collusion because uh, other uh, non-CIA-run uh, media outlets like RT.com, Russia Today, etc., etc., other foreign news that's not run by the CIA, they, they really call that collusion. They don't want other countries having news that differs from CIA-run propaganda media in the U.S. 
and they call that interfering. Of course they're interfering. We want to get information from other countries, uh, uh, from news outlets, that's not, and of, of course, alternative media that's not run by the CIA in the U.S., but also outside the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> President Trump's former attorney, that's a miracle, Michael Cohen said, no evidence suggesting his boss colluded with Russia. Well, duh, we all knew that. They spent millions of dollars on this. Yeah, but I think it's, it's also a distraction because uh, everybody should be giving the Nobel Peace Prize uh, times 10 to Trump. I think it's amazing what's happening in Vietnam. And I think this whole uh, Robert Mueller investigation is ridiculous. And everybody knows it. Yeah. Questions have been raised about whether I know or uh, know of direct evidence that Mr. Trump or his campaign colluded with Russia. I do not. And I want to be clear. But I have my suspicions. Suspicions. <laughs> Uh, questions have been raised. <clears throat> I have my suspicions, but uh, I do not have any information. I do not have any direct evidence that he did that. There are so many dots that all seem to lead in the direction of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. Yet, what are you talking about? Quote, as I stated in my earlier testimony, I wouldn't use the word colluding, he said. This is uh, Michael Cohen, the lawyer. Was there something odd about the back and forth praise with Vladimir Putin? Yes. So he's guessing, he's surmising this lawyer because Trump gave some compliments about President Putin. Because President Trump is unplugged from the matrix and thinks different than Cohen. Cohen goes, uh, well, why, why, is, why, is, why is Trump saying something nice about Putin? Uh, uh, doesn't he believe all the movies? Doesn't he believe all the hype in, in the media? <laughs> it's, it's another proof that Trump is not part of the matrix, not part of the secret society. He's the new world order. And uh, Michael Cohen is still part of the matrix. And he goes, well, there's something odd <laughs> about the back and forth praise with, with President Putin. Would you rather have a world war with Russia? What are you, nuts? Well, he's, Trump's not like everybody else. <laughs> oh. There's something odd. Last time I checked, being odd, being different is not a crime. <laughs> but I'm not really sure I can answer that question in terms of collusion. <laughs> Cohen added that President Trump's desire to win would have him work with anyone. What do you mean work with anyone? You mean... Trump trying to keep the world from a war is bad? You see how people have been drinking the, the news media fluoride, the fluoride of the, of, the, of the New World Order? Sure. The chemtrail heads, the matrix heads, sure. Trump is being vindicated. Now, of course, they're going to say, and they're going to try to bring up other dirt, like he had an affair with Stormy Daniels. I don't really care if he did or not, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that Trump likes women. And <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have a problem with Trump liking, you know, people, uh, men, men dressing up in a dress. Daryl, don't you love transgender people? Don't you love homosexuals? Did I say I don't love those people? I just don't, I just don't agree with their mentality. The Bible says a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. Listen, uh, David went after Bathsheba, and she was a married woman. And God still used him, and he repented. All right? Judah, in the lineage of Jesus' ancestors, Judah, the tribe of Judah, the, 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 the uh, founder Judah, yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the sons uh, of uh, the patriarchs, right? The uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. One of the sons of Jacob. Uh, Judah, well, he had, uh, 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 well, yeah, so I was going to say adulteress. It's really kind of incestuous. Uh, uh, he thought he was going to a prostitute, Judah, from the Bible, the Old Testament, and he went uh, to a hooker, but it happened to be his daughter-in-law. <laughs> but God still used them. So, all have sinned, right? But the difference is, is that some people stop sinning. Some people continue sinning. The Clintons, they just sin and continue sinning. The Bushes, the Obamas, the past U.S. presidents, 99% of the U.S. Congress, they just love their sin. They just love to go in the wrong direction. They just love the New World Order. Trump doesn't like the New World Order. The Bible says, even if a righteous man falls seven times, the Lord will uphold him with his hand. Right? The Bible says in 1 John 1, not if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you, Jesus says, and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. <laughs> if you sin. I'm not saying that uh, uh, Trump is Jesus Christ. 
and that Trump never sinned. Of course Trump sinned. I'm surprised that he didn't sin more. Being a multi-billionaire, you know, when people get lots and lots of money and lots and lots of wealth and lots and lots of, uh, well, fame and fortune, they usually go really off the deep end. The fact that Trump is not crazier than he was uh, is amazing. Yeah, he won his third marriage, right? <clears throat> Indiscretions in his, in his marriages, this, that, and the other, yeah. Uh, now he's married to Melania. I, I, I've never thought for one time that Trump never sinned. <laughs> and even, I, I never thought, I've never thought that Trump never sinned being married to Melania. But the fact of the matter is, he's the best guy for the job. He actually loves his country. He actually doesn't like the New World Order. He's actually trying to find, f follow the Bible. He's trying to serve Jesus Christ. He, he's trying to live out his born-again uh, uh, Christian walk. Sure. I, I, I'm, I'm not under any kind of uh, fantasy that he's never going to sin. <laughs> or, or he has never sinned. All right? Yeah. All right. That, that's just ridiculous. You know, people are, are flawed. People are uh, weak. People are human. Uh, but he has a good heart, and he wants to go in the right direction. Is he a man? Yeah. Does he does he have lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, and attack him? Sure. <laughs> That's why you got to pray for him. But you have to be blind as a hammer. You have to be dumb and blind as a hammer, uh, spiritually, uh, not to see that Trump has been put in office uh, by God, and he has a love for this country and for the countries on the planet to live in peace and prosperity. Sure. And I think instead of uh, this whole Mueller investigation a, a sideshow and circus, people should be focusing on uh, what's happening, what Jesus is doing in Vietnam with President Trump and uh, the Prime Minister of, uh, of Vietnam, Mr. Nguyen, right? Nguyen, yeah. And Kim Jong-un. I mean, hello. Just a short time ago, I mean, there was missiles being lobbed from North Korea into the ocean. People were, uh, be, you know, being concerned of a, of a Korean Peninsula war that would ignite a world war. Well, that's not happening, Bob. Well, hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So uh, anybody with half a brain spiritually, with eyes to see and ears to hear, can see and knows that Trump hasn't been perfect, but he's a whole lot better than all the other people that have come before him. Sure, in the last 150 years, for sure, you got to go back to like Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> to the 1870s and before that. Sure, to find a half decent president that's not in the pocket of the Vatican, run yeah, that's that's running the New World Order. Sure, U.S. presidents have been run by the New World Order by the Vatican, as puppets, as CEO, as CEOs of a corporation by the Vatican since 1871 at least. <laughs> that's why the media doesn't like Trump. The media doesn't like Trump. Trump must be good. Trump, Trump must be good because the media doesn't like him. Yeah. Even Pope Francis doesn't like Trump. Called him uh, anti-Christian or non-Christian. That's kind of ironic since, the, since Pope Francis is the false prophet <laughs> from Revelation 13. Yeah. <clears throat> John Le Legend came out to say it and, and it's, it's, all these bad names, right? Today against Trump. Well, <clears throat> last time I checked, Hollywood's demon-possessed. When the demon-possessed people don't like Trump, I say, hallelujah. It's just another sign. Because the world loves its own. Demons. Stay with demons, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, nobody uh, should be surprised. Trump wasn't perfect, but he's the perfect person for the job. And hallelujah for what's going on. Even Roger Stone, when, it, when, a, when a lawyer has to admit there's no evidence against Trump, well, it's a great day. <laughs> I look at what here's one from BuzzFeed. Uh, what is it? BuzzFeedNews.com. Even Roger Stone, even though he has a gag order against him, Roger Stone says Michael Cohen is lying on the other things he said. Yeah, after Stone was ordered not to comment on the Mueller investigation, <laughs> Cohen said in his prepared remarks that Stone uh, uh, told Trump in a call in July 2016 that Stone had talked to Assange. And there would be an email dump damaging to Hillary, Hillary's campaign. Who cares? I think Julian Assange should get a medal of uh, commendation or something. Julian Assange uh, is a needed whistleblower against corrupt organizations and intelligence agencies. Sure. So I don't, I don't find it's a big deal whatsoever. Yeah. I think Cohen should be fine. Uh, I mean, uh, Roger Stone should be fine, rather. Roger Stone pushed back against Michael Cohen's claim that Stone told Trump 
He had spoken to WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange about the email down, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? Who cares? That this is piggly little nothing. This is a little anthill. You know, this is a little a pile of dust compared to what the other presidents have done. Let's investigate Obama for the eight years of doing all these secret deals around the world. What was he doing with billions and billions of dollars? Yeah. What were the Clintons doing? What was Hillary Clinton doing? I mean, investigate them, but they won't be inve they won't investigate them because they know that they're in bed together with them. Investigators, the intelligence agencies are in bed with the former presidents. They're trying to cover each other's dirt. Yeah. If they take down Hillary Clinton, they got to take down most of the U.S. Congress because they're all in bed with each other. <laughs> Stone's text today, uh, which he made uh, Stone's text, which he made clear was a statement. It was just one sentence, and he did not explain what exactly about Cohen's testimony he maintained was false. Stone, who was facing criminal charges for lying to Congress, <laughs> under gag order not to publicly comment on this case, Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, or any other participants in the case or investigation. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Roger Stone should be fine, right? Uh, but, of course, they hate him because he's uh, a friend of Trump. They're trying to get people that have been family members or people that are or have been around Trump to uh, come against Trump. But there's just a pattern. Everybody that comes against Trump ends up in trouble, ends up losing money and their fortunes <laughs> and their positions. And they just go down the toilet. Yeah, because if God, yeah, listen, if God be for Trump, anybody that comes against Trump is going to be squashed. Right? Yeah, sure. If God be for him, who can be against Trump? Right? So, the only person that's never sinned was Jesus. All right? So, I'm in no, uh, I'm in no la-la land thinking that Trump never sinned. But he's different than all the rest. He's a good person that's trying to do good things for this country and for around the world. Did he say bad things in the past? Sure. Did he, did he, did he do uh, sins in the past? Sure he did. <laughs> But he could have done, done a whole lot more. And I think God's hand has been upon him, training him and teaching him, leading him, guiding him, directing him for such, for such a time as this. <laughs> so it's a good day. And everything they're trying to do against Trump is ending up turning for Trump. For Trump, sure. And right in their faces, God is preparing a table of blessing. Right? For Trump, right in the midst of his enemies. That's from Psalm 23. God will prepare a table before you of blessings right in the face of your enemies. Suckers! Love it! Yeah. So they come against you one way, they shall flee seven ways. They're coming against Trump uh, in one way or another, and they're fleeing in seven directions. Yeah. There's a curse against Trump's enemies. <laughs> and people can't figure it out. Uh, Cohen's going, I don't know, man. Why is Trump saying something good about Putin? Because all the media says we shouldn't. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're plugged into the Matrix. That's what happens when you're spiritually blind. That's what happened when you're drinking the, the Kool-Aid, the, uh, the, the Florida of the New World Order. You're a, you're a chemtrail head, right? The chemtrails have affected your head. Because that's when you get born again, spirit filled. Jesus makes your insides, your spirit alive. And so you're not led by your senses. You're not led by your flesh, your body, which can be easily fooled. You're led by the Holy Spirit who's talking to your spirit. Your spirit is controlling your flesh, what to do, your body, yeah. It's a very safe way to live. It's a good way to live. It's a, it's a, it's a higher way of living. But the people that don't get born again spirit filled, they don't know, I don't know what's going on. Ah. And they're just bumping into things in the dark. The blind leading the blind. Trump has seen the light and he's trying to follow the light. So pray for him. And uh, lift him up in your prayers. Because we're seeing this great resistance of Jesus through the Trump presidency against the New World Order. It is Bible prophecy. It is Jesus resisting the New World Order, holding back the New World Order, holding back the Great Tribulation until the next rapture. All right, Jesus Christ is about to return. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is about to return. If you're not ready, get ready. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. And watch my thousands and thousands and thousands of videos that I've done to help you understand what's going on, to go forward and not backwards. DarylLawson.com, DarylLawsonLive.com has all my information, all my, my links to my videos. Thousands of videos, millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of people have watched my videos around the world. My videos have been watched in every country on the planet. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's what the analytics tell me. Sure. And so pass my videos on, pass this video on to other people. 
We're living in 2019. It's a privilege to be alive. If you're born again, spirit filled, and you see what's going on. If you're if you're if you're not, you, you can't understand. I don't know what's going on, man. Chicken little, the sky is falling. Now, the sky is not falling yet. The sky will fall during the Great Tribulation. But that's when Jesus comes back and takes his people in the next rapture to a heavenly banquet. Then the Great Tribulation will start. It'll last about 42 months of hell. Barack Obama will come back into power. And Pope Francis will be with him. And they will head up the New World Order from Jerusalem. It'll be hell on earth. Depopulation. You think, you think earthquakes and, and wars are, are bad? Now you wait till they take over and the Christians leave the earth. The true born again spiritual Christians. Yeah. I, I have videos on this. Take a look at my videos online, DarrellLawson.com. All right. I'm out of here. Pass the video on. Keep up the good, great work. Get born again. Get spirit filled. Stay born again. Stay spirit filled. And you will be fine. Be hearers and doers of God's word. Religion won't save you. Joining a church, temple, mosque, that's, that's not, that's not uh, uh, loving and obeying Jesus, right? Loving and obeying Jesus is apart from religion. Run from religion, run to Jesus and obey him, okay? And uh, you'll be fine, all right? So, and you'll be happier. You'll know from the inside. You'll have a rivers of living water flowing from your inside, all right? Religion only brings uh, wars uh, and deception, deception and wars on the earth. Fear, doubt, unbelief, and fighting. Jesus brings life and life abundantly. All right, DarrellLawson.com. I love you. Pass the video on to other people. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I'll see you later. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.